Raw fields are so important in Airtable because they allow you to summarize and create formulas and calculations on your data between one table to another. If you've ever wanted to get a bird's eye view on your team, on your business, on your organization, then this is the right video for you to watch because we're going to show you how to create those summaries that really help you understand the business. My name is Cherry Yang, and I'm the founder of AirOps Consulting. We're a full-service Airtable consulting company, helping our clients with all of their Airtable and Zapier needs. If you've got a database you want to build or a workflow you want to automate, then let's get on a call and see how we can help you. If you want to roll up your sleeves and master Airtable, our Airtable Bootcamp is going to give you all the knowledge, tools, and support for you to build your own awesome and scalable databases. You can sign up for the course or schedule a call with me at the links down below. There are two types of rollup fields that you can create in Airtable. One is a traditional one, which Airtable has had for many years. It basically takes all the data from one table and summarizes it onto another. The second type of rollup field is a conditional rollup field. This is important to know because it, it creates a very nuanced picture for your data. You might want to know how many sales you've generated in total, which is using the simple row up field. And then the other one is how many sales you've generated within each year. So you might want to know your sales figures within 2021, uh, 2020, and 2019. Before we jump in into building these rollup fields, we're going to first take a look at the base we've got in front of us. So let's pretend we are a consulting company and we are helping multiple clients with multiple different projects. And at the moment, we've got a list of projects, what clients they belong to, the level of difficulty, the cost, the start date, and who that assignee is. At the moment, this database is incredibly simple. It just has one table. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to set up the client table and the assignee table as two different tables. So you can go ahead and create those linked fields. If you're not sure how to create linked fields or if you don't know what linked fields are, then you can watch our previous video on linked fields. So I will first convert my client's column into a separate table. I'm going to create a new table called clients. The next thing I'll do is convert the assignee column into its own table as well. So you can select create a new table for assignees. In this case, I'm going to name my assignee table the people table. The first row up field we're going to create is going to be on the clients table. So go ahead, create add a new field. And in this first field, we're going to just tally up the number of projects we have. Next, you're going to select a rollup field. Once you select a rollup field, you can see that the projects table is already selected for us. Now, if you have multiple tables that this client's table is linking to, then you'll have to select which table you want the rollup to be about. Once you've selected that, then you can select a field. This field is going to be the name field. And for our aggregation formula, we're going to put in count A. Count A values basically means count all the values that are not blank. So as long as the projects have a name, then it's going to count towards the total number of projects we have. Once you're done, create that field. After you've created the field, you can see that the number of projects lines up with the number of records we've got linked here. So for the local nonprofit organization, we've got three projects with them. And for the soft drink company, we've got two projects with them. The second row up field we're going to create is going to show us the average value of the projects for each client. So go ahead and create a new field. We'll call this field average project value. Of course, this is going to be a row up field. In the field itself, we're going to use the cost field. Once you select the row up option, you can see that the project 
table is already selected. And then we're going to add in the cost field as our field that we want to roll up. And then next, we're going to use the average formula. This is going to give us the average size of the projects for each client. Once this field is created, you can see that the local nonprofit organization's project value is averaged at 5,000 and the soft drink company is 6,500. Back on our projects table, we can very quickly see that for the soft drink company, their average project value is going to be 6,500 because they've got two projects, each valued at 8,000 and 5,000. The final roll up field we'll create on this table is going to tell us who is actually working on these clients. And again, this is going to be a roll up field. The field that we're going to roll up is a signee field. You'll notice that the signee field is actually a linked field itself. So you can roll up other linked fields and that's completely fine. In the formula, you'll type in array unique. Once you've created that field, you can see that Allison is the only one who is working on the soft drink company, whereas Cherry and Peter are the ones working on the, no on the local nonprofit. Even though Peter has two projects that he's working on for our local nonprofit, back on our clients table, we only see Peter's name appear once because we're using the array unique formula to summarize this data. Now for the really fun stuff. We want to start building some conditional rollups soon. So let's head over to the people table. In our people table, I want to compare the value of all the projects that someone has worked on over the years. So first we'll create a basic row up field to sum together all the values. You can create a new field called total project value. And this is a roll up field. We're going to be rolling up the cost field within the projects table. And the aggregation formula we'll use is the sum formula. After we create that field, we can see the total value of the projects that each one of us has worked on. The next thing we'll do is to create a roll-up field that's a conditional roll-up. So to make things easier for myself, I'll just create a duplicate of the current roll-up field. And in this conditional row up field, we're going to be rolling up the total value of the projects that someone has worked on in a given year. So to start with, we can rename this field to 2021 project value. We're still going to be rolling up the cost field, but this time we're going to add a condition. The condition is going to be a date. So we're going to set the start date to be either on or after January 1st, 2021. We don't need to change the formula and you can go ahead and save that field. Once you save that field, you can already see that the 2021 project value is very different from the total project value. Next, we'll duplicate this field again and set it up so that the conditional roll up tells us the 2020 project value. So I'll rename this new duplicate field to 2020 project value.
and the conditions are going to be slightly different, of course. So the start date is going to be on or after January 1st, 2020. And we're going to add a second condition as well. The second condition is that the date, the start date needs to be on or before December 31st, 2020. Once that's saved, you can see that the 2020 project value is 5,000 and 4,000. And together with the 2021 project value, we get the total project value. This is really, really powerful because it makes your data so much more nuanced and you can do reporting on a monthly basis, on a quarterly basis, on an annual basis. It really depends on what your business needs are. Robot fields are so great at capturing the essence and summaries from your data. I really encourage you to try some more field types, try some more summaries, and really get to the core of it and figure out what it is that you want to summarize within your data and what it is that you want to know about your organization that these robot fields can help you with. My name is Cherry Yang and we at AirOps Consulting want to thank you for investing in your own knowledge base and learning with us. There are even more great lessons and content in our Airtable Bootcamp training course. You can sign up for the course at the links down below. If you need a little extra help with your project or just want to hand it over completely to the professionals, we can help our clients with all of their Airtable and Zapier needs. You can schedule an initial consultation call with me with the links down below as well. Don't forget to like and subscribe. You don't want to miss this next video.